Sitting at home. Ah, oh, shit. Not again. Looking for my video game. Ah, oh, God. All right, welcome back to Rolling Eyes. Yeah, what the hell? If you right, if you move, if you move the move the right stick, you yeah. can control the player's eyes and like like you know how you can control the camera in the game. I never knew you could do that actually. Yeah, I figured that out now. I wasn't sure if that was a glitch or if that was something you were doing. That's what I'm doing. I can move the head around. All right, so welcome back to Zombie Bros, and this is gonna be the last video for the session tonight. Jeff's playing until dawn. Um, since you're playing, should the volume on my TV be lowered or yours? Doesn't matter. I'm not really. I can hear the. I'm not. Um, what do you call it? You're not. I'm, I can. I'm not listening to it, but I can read the, the um subtitles. All right, so I'll have it up on mine. If we ever make it. I have a feeling on our Around this part is when we stopped recording from the last session, so some of these parts are repeated of the text for the first few seconds of the episode. Shut up, Mr. Robot. Oh, I almost forgot. You gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. I gotta see that show. See if it's any good. I heard it's good. I just never started watching it yet. What is it like? A live action show where it's like a? Oh, she's very conceited. She thinks Josh is flirting with him. No. Her. No. With her. Not. Um. Yeah, let's go follow her. I actually am not sure. I believe it's a live action show though. I thought she was just clapping like the fat guy from Family Guy. <laughs> I didn't like any of that. I thought going down the stairs, she just like <laughs> did that. Come on, go! Oh. All right, so you're gonna need to listen to me on certain things through this uh, episode. For what purpose? You'll see in the future. Yeah, I think a selfie. Make it a good one. I think it's a good one. What? She keeps moving. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy. She should be a model. I'll let you start my portfolio. It's fucking hot. The cabin. Yes. Yeah, her voice actor actress is really hot too, of course. Since uh this is stop motion and CGI. Yes. Keep moving, Barry. Keep moving in front of me so I can see your beautiful ass. That's something I can help you with. And how are you? As he said that, he's like, no, that's something I could help you with. <laughs> yeah, as I said in part one, this game has way better ass animation than Mass Effect 2. With, that's uh, saying something. It really is, because that's like one of the best ass animation in any games I've seen. If she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. I agree with her. Agree. Good. Uh, yeah, she's a bitch, but I don't want her to get eaten by a bear. No, but for something that I we can cause to happen in the future, we are going to have to do specific things, and agreeing with her is one of them. Wait, do I have to go back or this way, or do I have to go forward? No, you were going the right way. Go to the gate. Alright. Yep. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Yeah, what the hell? Oh, wait, wait. Do I have to go around? Hmm, yeah, I think so. Oh, yep, to that cabin right there. The oh, little... God. This, this is the cabin where everyone dies. Right, no! Right. Wait, go to that totem. Trying to find as much things we can in the game. And you know what to do. I know I'm trying to move it though, but it's not letting me move it. Oh, you have to pull it that way. Yep. Okay. That was actually getting punched in the face. 
So that's warning us of something that may happen in the future. Indigenous tribe believe that butterflies are what? Brought dreams and premonitions. Premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How how you play will determine, determine whether, whether or, not or not these prophecies come prophecies true. Prophecies come true. As you unlock totem, the events of the past will become clearer. Yep. You can see that one again. All right, so I don't need her to get punched in the face. Basically, what's gonna happen? Yeah. Alright, so there's something sparkly in there. All Actually, right. two sparkly things. Let's sparkle, see. sparkle. Fuck yes, yeah, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. What was that from? That was a nostalgia critic joke because of something with like Thomas. I mean, um. Thomas the train engine or whatever, and freaking Alec Baldwin was in it. And like either him or someone else, they'd be like, sparkle, sparkle. <gasps> oh. Oh god. And you already got the totem. Is there anything over here? No, there's nothing else over here. That's a light, okay. If you I'm see something to... glowing, then yeah, if it's something you already got, then just don't worry about it. Obviously, you don't need to pick it up again. Alright, so now you gotta go through this creepy gate. By the creepy tree. By the way, you know what, Big Mike? Like that. You know what Big Mike told me that uh, Samuel L. Jackson says in Sinks on a Plane in the censored version? What? We gotta get these. He's like, I'm sick of these monkey fought snakes on this monkey fought plane. I gotta see that. <laughs> like, he just made up a whole different word instead of saying motherfucking. Yeah. Well, they couldn't just well, they couldn't just bleep it out. They had to say monkey fight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of monkey fight snakes and monkey fight plane. <laughs> Cross I'm the bridge. I'm Samuel motherfucking Jackson. I'm tired of motherfucking snakes and motherfucking yet? plane. You, you ever see um epic movie? I am so psyched. Um yeah, I saw like parts of it. I don't think I saw the whole thing though. Did you see? Did you see the snake on a plane parody? I don't remember. It's been some time since I've seen that movie. It but was like you know I'm what was tired? annoying. What? The hot white uh, girl in the movie kept repeating everything the black chick said. Oh yeah, because she's retarded. She literally just kept saying the same thing that she said. Yo, but it was hilarious though when they when they when they parried snake on a plane. The creeps now. Mm -hmm. uh, be like, respectful. Uh, be respectful. It was like uh, good. I'm, I'm tired of this motherfucking thing on this motherfucking plane. I know, right? I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes and these motherfucking planes. Yeah, right? I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes and these motherfucking planes. And it's like, why the fuck do you keep repeating that? Because I'm Samuel motherfucking Jackson and I can say whatever the fuck I want. I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes and these motherfucking planes. And every time I keep saying motherfucking, people will listen to me because I'm Samuel and motherfucking Jackson. It's true. <laughs> there was screaming I just heard. Yeah, I did hear that actually. I don't think Jeff did though. Yeah. No. What happened? There was a huge scream. Wait, who are you talking to? Uh, kind of the you and the game at the same time. Cause like, did you hear that? I'm like, well, yeah, I did. I thought, I thought you were talking about someone else completely. I thought you were talking about someone else completely oh, no different. No. Like Jeff didn't hear that. I'm like, who the fuck are you talking to? If Jeff didn't hear that. You know what? Huh. Okay. We're adventurous. In the game, in the game, the part. Oh, oh, oh! Yes! Be the hero. Come on, I'm gonna be the hero. I have to save you. Um, okay. Holy crap! You scared the heck out of me. I'm pretty sure one person's gonna die at least. You didn't hit your head or uh, depending on your choices, maybe not. I'm going to do the best I can to make sure that doesn't happen. Did you get out? I, I don't know. I can Well, come down and I can give you the flashlight. Uh, heroic. Alright, coming after you. Just stay put. Ooh, butterfly effect. <gasps> that guy again. Yeah, this is gonna keep happening, obviously. Um, we're gonna push the cart anyway, though, so yep. no difference. Move the cart. Come on, put your ass into it, Jessica. Together. 
This is not what I pictured. Oh god. <laughs> sex <Not a> joke. <laughs> That's a terrible sex pun. What do you think you do to make it funny? I don't know, but that that was this awful. <laughs> it's like no, I got I gotta leave the pack now. Yeah, you're the guy. Yeah, but she would leave everywhere. Oh, oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. No, holy crap! Oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. All right, so let's... Oh, I can hear this from your TV, so this is perfect. All right, good. And the volume's not up on yours, I don't think, right? No, but yours is still up at nine, though, right? Oh, no. Yes. This place is giving me the can't go there. I'm not the Keep good kind forward. of willies. What kind of willies are good willies? <laughs> Wet willies? I don't know how that's a good willy. Oop, totem time. That one's kind of like an owl. Whoa. Yeah, that was pretty disturbing. Like, this entire fucking game. It showed Jessica maybe survived something very horrible and woke up alone, confused about what happened. So, that may happen in the future. Um, so, you never know. Maybe that is something that will happen. Because all these are just little events foreshadowing showing something that may happen in the future and a lot of them are very unavoidable well that depends on what you pick yeah it depends on how you play the game and look so at that ass just up at the screen just to show us she has a nice ass and constantly remind us I think you well, have to go up there doesn't matter we'll see it again no, I'm, I'm telling you, I think you have to move up there. Oh, um, <clears throat> is there a way on your right to go? Oh, shit. You alright? Yeah, close one. Yeah, it could have really taken someone's foot off. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. That dust is so animated. Yeah, uh, is there something on your right or no? Mm, maybe. Oh, yes, yes. These are important clues, so I would pick both of these clues up. A cigar stub. Oh, R1. R1. Dude, press R1. I know, I'm trying that. Hold on. Alright, so let's read the clue. A stubbed out cigar butt. It looks like it was left recently. There must be someone else up on the mountain. Ooh. Alright, so that's it for that one. And I believe there's another clue on your right, so you can put the cigar stuff down. Whoa. Mystical symbol, R1, you know what to do. Let's like... so read this clue, it's another mystery clue. Strange symbols painted on the wall of the mine, it's not clear what they mean. Alright, so we got 5 out of 30 yes, mystery cool. man clues so far. Did you get all of them in the game? No, I there, I missed like a few of those, and of the twins' clues, I missed like five of them somehow. So we're checking everything then, I guess. We're trying to, and there's something on the table to your right. And we're trying to find everything that we can find. Alright, you know what to do. Oh, 1952 clue. A map showing structural faults in a mine marked up by a mine engineer. It looks like the owners knew there was a risk of collapse. Place is a real fixer rubber. Yeah, the only way to really get 100% in the game is to find just everything in the game. All the clues, all the totems, which there's a lot of, and yeah. And other than that, just working to try and get the best ending. Of course. Which me and Anthony actually, well, we didn't initially, and I rewound back a few chapters to prevent the deaths that me and him both caused. And then we actually got the best ending that we could get. So anytime you or I see anything glowing, and we didn't pick it up or look at whatever it is, we gotta go back to it. Alright, so there was nothing over there. There's no way to get over there. Oh, there is a way to get over there. Oh, what is that? Probably another totem. Uh, you're right. 
I think that's one me and Anthony missed, actually. But let's see what that is. Uh, yep, that's a that's a, a one me and Anthony definitely missed. Let's watch that again. Oh, she's dead in that one. We gotta avoid that from happening. So basically, she's gonna get up and then die. Mm, no, if we can prevent that from happening, then well, that she would could. be great. She could, though. But we don't it, want her to die. Yeah, it we can. Need her beautiful ass to stay alive. It can happen to her, but we don't want that to happen to her. And you would think there would be a clue on that thing in front of you, but no, there is not. That's just there. So you can just go up the steps to get to the cabin. Yeah, I want to get everyone out alive while also finding everything that we can find. Which, so far, I don't think we've missed anything, because you'll find things out of order throughout the whole game. Yeah, Nothing. You don't find any clues or anything in order. They're all just randomized. Alright. I mean, they're the same one every time you replay the game and find it in that spot, but they're not, like in order of when you find them. They're all just right in order. Well, yeah. What's that thing over there? I think that's a sign. Ooh, a telescope. That's not a sign, but okay, Jess, whatever. Oh, she saw something disturbing. I just saw someone at the cabin. You go up to the... Okay, you can do this first. It doesn't matter. And what are you gonna? Ah, shit! Oh shit! What the fuck? I don't exactly remember everything in this game when it happens. I just know when something does happen. Like I'll try to remember it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay close by, okay? What's that? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Something tells me it's not a Let's best idea. A not on, at all. Please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs> Maybe I want to hug a bear. I mean, a bear is probably very cozy. I'm very sure, but I don't think it'd be smart to hug him. Not unless it's a harmless bear. Here we go. Pandas apparently aren't harm. They're not harmless. Like they can actually hurt you. Which is weird, because those things are adorable. Alright, let her through first so we can stare at her ass more. Alright, um, we're gonna have to end it after we get down these steps. Alright, well, how much time has it been? 18. We can, 19 now. I was gonna say, we can go 19. We just can't go over 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. Alright, so is there anything else laying around about in <clears throat> these wilderness for us to find? Is there? No, but I see a deer over there. Ooh, a deer. Ah! No, but there was a bird that tried to scare us. Um, go to Witty. Just... Just answering his mating call. Wow. Oh, so he's into bestiality. Good to know. Oh. Good to know. Alright, so I think this is where we... Ah, my phone was in between my feet. I think after you cross this brown bridge is when we should end it. Yes. But good to see more of Jess and Mike actually bonding because we didn't really see them that much in the beginning you only see a little bit of them but now we get to see more of them well I'm gonna keep walking but um next episode um we're gonna figure out what they're saying really I know what they're saying I know what they're saying too I'm saying we're gonna keep keep going we're gonna have to end it here alright I'll wait We'll end it after this scene. Let's get in. Another snowball fight. You got on your Maybe. I feel like I feel like I'm watching the SpongeBob okay. episode right now. <laughs> that episode's a classic. Uh, what? Survival? Wait, sur no, it wasn't survival the idiots, was it? Yes. She screamed. 
case you didn't, in case you didn't hear it. Okay, we're gonna have to end it here. So. Oh yes. So thank you all so much for watching. Click the annotations in the outro or links in the description below for anything we've done in the past. And it looks like we're playing as Sam in this next episode, in this sec next session. Um. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you saw in that video, please check out our latest series to the left. I hope you enjoy. Also, if you want more hilarious videos, please check out our other series down below. I'm sure you'll enjoy that as well. And last but not least, please hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers we get, the more content we can provide. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.